I'm Allison Cope, and today we are going to be talking about reed switches. Let's get started. Reed switches are used for creating a circuit where a magnet closes the circuit to make the lights go on. So I've already created my card front. We're going to use this another little firefly here so he's all matched up. I make my card with the inside mocked up exactly the way the front is. So I have printed out another layer and we're going to light up these four items on our card today. We're going to start mapping out our circuit and I'm going to start by locating my battery area. Next, we're going to use the stencil and we are going to map out where our light stickers are going to be. Let's map out the negative side of our circuit. The negative side of the circuit is going to start underneath the batteries. And then we need to connect this to all the pointy parts of our triangular parts of our LED stickers. This is what our reed switch looks like. And it eventually is going to complete the circuit and I'm going to have a magnet placed on the back of our little uh, lightning bug here. So I need a place for him to sit and I figured that sitting kind of in front of that log would be a good place. So we're just going to use a pencil and mark out our switch today. All right. Now using red pen to indicate our positive side of our circuit, we are going to attach it across the top of our battery. So it's going to be located on top. And then it's going to come out and connect to our reed switch. and go around the circuit and complete the rest. And that's mapping out our complete circuit. Now let's put down our conductive tape. This is our conductive fabric tape and we have a little repositionable sticker just to hold everything closed. And I always begin my circuits starting underneath the my battery location. we're going to create the housing for our batteries. I like to use two, but you do not have to use two. I am first of all, I'm going to put it another quick kind of spacer into the corner. This is uh, three millimeter deep foam tape. And this is just going to become one of my outside walls of that housing. So I always put in my batteries to ensure that I have enough space and then I get them held in quite tightly. There we go, little battery housing just to hold my batteries in.
Let's make the flap and continue on with the positive side of our circuit. To begin the top of our battery holder, we are going to take our tape and we're going to start and put it on the bottom of our door. And then we're going to take it and wrap it right around the edge and come across the top. And this now can sit right on top of our batteries and makes great contact. We're then going to extend our tape up and over the boundary that we've made here and down the side. And we're going to complete the rest of our positive side. Let's now add our reed switch. And all we have to do is connect the ends and we're good to go. There we go, let's add our stickers. Today I'm using the yellow stickers from our red, blue, and yellow LED sticker package. The next thing to do is to check the circuit. So in order to close the circuit, you need a magnet. And there we go, one, two, three, four, yellow lights. So now I need to attach a magnet to our little firefly here. I'm gonna use glue dot, just double checking that we're good to go. I'm gonna attach this right to the back of my little lightning bug body. Um, ideally, I'd like to have a little bit smaller one, but we use what we got. Okay, so there we go. So once he goes on the front of the card, you will complete the circuit. Now, in the meantime, he needs to sit over top of his own body. So I'm going to put a small piece of magnet, which is, I actually have a broken piece. And we're going to just glue it, <laughs> it's already attached, glue it down just above the circuit. And because it's not touching any other aspect of the circuit, we're good to go. And there will also be a glue dot in between. Oh, hang on. We got two pieces here. <laughs> Stuck together. All right, now let's hope we got the right side of our magnet here. Yes, we do. And I'm just going to put it right there. And now we're going to close. And once we get this aligned, this little baby will sit right above the other one, kind of overlapping. I'm okay that it doesn't match up. And then we move it over here to complete the circuit. Here's our final card, and I put my little lightning bug on a leash so he doesn't get lost, because this card is going on display. And we move our little lightning bug, and our lights go on. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks, guys.